All right, buckle up, boys and girls. Ah, the wait is finally over. <clears throat> we can debate on, on how much, uh, you know, waiting really went on. They just kind of announced this, and then, you know, several months later, here's your trailer. So it is Dr. Sleep, uh, a follow-up to The Shining. Now, The Shining is, of course, near and dear to all of our hearts. <laughs> there is no way it's going to compare, so let's see if it can stand on its own. Simpsons shit. I go in there. Ah, the door, of course. Ah, the music. So nice. Oh man, you talk about stepping into some big shoes. Okay, so um, it is going to be utterly pointless to compare this to The Shining. I mean, um, side note, real quick. Sorry, I got to do this. Did you notice, like, just how awesome... So those scenes that they cut in to the trailer from The Shining, obviously were shot on film. I know they've got a 4K restoration out. They may have used some of that from it. And yet, it just looked so much different than the rest of it. Uh, so good. So, so crisp. I mean, obviously, you know, it's the film medium. It's, it's the cinematographer on The Shining. It's Kubrick. It's everything. But, uh, oh, man. Uh, okay, so yeah, pointless to compare this to The Shining. It is never going to step up. So the question is, can it stand on its own? Now, um, I disclosure, I haven't read the book. Okay, so I don't know. Um, so I have to go off of what I saw. And for me, and I'm sure this is contrary to the book, um, you know, the shining aspect, or the you know, the shining aspect of the shining, um, and in fact, all of the shining, you know, was very contained. It was very, for lack of a better word, claustrophobic. Uh, not just being cooped up in this giant, you know, hotel, which in and of itself, you know, if you think about it, isn't claustrophobic. They could have spent months and never run into each other. It was that big. But regardless. Um, this seems to really 
expand that and and now we've got a dozen people that have shining and i guess some of them are good and some of them are bad and it just it doesn't ring as horrifying or or, or scary you know the claustrophobia thing you know the, the insanity thing keep you know uh, kubrick and obviously stephen king was very smart in, in keeping that you know in that bubble and, and cauldering and right side of it this, I don't know, with the broader world, tends to, to smooth it out. It's just my opinion, you know, based on this. Again, haven't read the book, so I don't know. Um, did not like at all the little scene kind of towards the beginning where the woman does her little, you know, cliche horror breath demon monster spirit chanting thing into the other person. That's just like, yeah. Been there, done that. Um, and, you know... The Shining, in and of itself, as a thing, you know, an ability, a, a consciousness above all, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, that you're just innately born with on very, very rare occasions. And it puts you into a situation that is both, you know, confusing and, and terrifying, has good merit and value. Being something that some voodoo priestess you know, blows in you, it's just, that's, yeah, that's crap, that's ridiculous. I really hope they don't go down that road. Um, I guess the whole point of all of this is, is that on the one hand, you know, I, 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 I want to see a continuation. I mean, I know I'm not going to get Kubrick, uh, uh, but on the other, I just very cautious, just, yeah, can't speak today. <laughs> Very, very concerned, because first of all, I don't like sequels. Yes, I understand that, you know, King did it himself. And second of all, it just looks like they're trying to turn this into something that that is very different, very safe, very similar to a lot of what we've seen before. All right, this is where the people that have read the book chime in and call me an idiot. So do it. And while you're there, maybe, you know, without spoiling too much, provide a little bit of insight, maybe a little bit of reasoning why. You know, get away from the whole, you an idiot, you didn't read the book. I already said I didn't read the book, so how's that make me an idiot? It doesn't. So, please, explain yourself. <laughs>